All right, everyone, here we go. This is an all signs reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is. It's straight up energy reading. This is for the new moon in Gemini. And I, I didn't bother doing a pre-show. Why? Because when I picked up the animal deck to do the reading randomly at the bottom from the last time I put the cards away and shuffled three times randomly like I always do is temperance. You're going to hear a lot of people. I'm going to talk to you about this moon before we pull a reading because I want you to know about the energy because I know, I know. You're going to hear from a lot of people out there. I know y'all cheat on me. It's fine. Uh, as long as I know about it, right? Um, you're going to hear a lot of people talking about this moon is about dreams. This moon is about manifesting and all of that. And get your manifesting down on paper. and all. Yeah, that's true. But people that say that, if that's their reading, this is not. They're ignoring the surrounding energies, okay? There's there is in particular Jupiter riding its way through Gemini. Okay, this moon I'm going to tell you is about forgiveness, and forgiveness is about ourselves. We forgive ourselves. This moon is about forgiving yourself for who you were, or the things that you allowed to hold you back, and moving forward with confidence because there's a lot of confidence in the energy we've talked about that right I talked about it in my write-up on the month of June moving forward into a new era this moon draws a line in the sand for a new era of you okay but it's its energy is about forgiveness for who you've been or what allowed allowed you to be held back it's going to vary for all of you for some of you you're making major you're entering a major new era. For others, it's very minor. But this is the forgiveness moon. Straight up. End of story. Um, yes, you can. You should manifest. And yes, you definitely should because Jupiter is in, in Gemini. And you give it a little bit, it gives you back a dump truck. But this moon is about forgiveness. And forgiveness is always for ourselves. We forgive ourselves. All right? And you move forward with this moon. It draws a line in the sand. It's really a new era. Right? There's a lot of determination that comes within this energy that comes after the peak of the new moon. Very, very strong. All right? So if, if you're trying to make some changes, it's a good one. But it's about forgiveness. And that's what I want everybody to do. I don't know if the incoming energies, the DM side is doing that. I, have, I doubt they're dreaming and manifesting. So on, <laughs> on the DM side, that'd be something. But uh, it, usually, usually when they manifest, they just butt dial manifest. Like I said, it's, it's accidental. It happens just because they're putting stuff out there to the universe. It's rather scattered the way I pick it up. So it's hard for them to get exactly what they ask for most of the time. But we'll see. Okay? But I want you to know what this moon's about. Because I know what's going to come out there in the readings. It's dreams, dreaming up a new you, or dreaming up this. Yeah, but you can't glaze over the forgiveness aspect. You don't move forward until you learn from the past and forgive anything that held you back, right? Take your lessons and move forward. It's a very powerful energy. And it's, it's, about, it's not just about the new moon. It's about the surrounding energies around it as well. They're very unique right now. We have a very unique time. We have a new moon in Gemini with Venus and Mercury working their magic in there. And we have um, Jupiter in there as well in Gemini. A lot of mutable energy. All right. It's pretty awesome. Let's go. Let's shuffle the deck. It's a general reading. May or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. All right. So let's go. Let's see. It's first card out. It's before the cuts. Why the fuck are we here? So let's pull on that incoming energy. The Nine of Pentacles. Somebody attached to you is, is getting free of something. Okay? Might be breaking up with somebody. They're going into it. Everybody, you know, look. Everybody's going into a new... This, this new moon energy draws a line in the sand. Here's the old era. Here's the new era. It really is that strong. And somebody here is ending something. They're freeing themselves from some kind of energy. Might be you for some of you. I don't know. But I feel it more as an energy, and a third energy that's attached to them. It could be a way they've been living if they're single. If it's a relationship, I don't think bad relationships are going to bode well in this un, under the current energy starting with this new moon. I really am. We've been seeing that a little bit in the readings, you know, kind of sneaking in a little bit. What comes after the cut? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. 
the most solid new beginning in the tarot, new era, a card that would kind of indicate that. Somebody's freeing themselves for something and, and having a, a long time coming, really solid new beginning. Okay, a new them, if you will, on some level. I think it's a smaller level on the DM side, but either way, I think for you, this is a very spiritual time. I think this is a very, very powerful time. All right, for them, I don't think they're uh, for the DM side of this cycle. For most of them, you know, I know we have a few enlightened DMs here. I don't think they're really soaking in the magic as much as the DF side is. But either way, let's shuffle the deck and let's pull a reading. So that bodes well. That's nice. And it jives with what I talked about around that randomly at the bottom temperance card. Yeah, it really is. Make it, it, one of the meanings of temperance, you know, t temperance is about balanced energy. One of the meanings of it is creating balance, you know. So again, we, we can't create balance. We can't move on into a new era until we say goodbye to the old. And you might, just speaking to you because you're here, you might have some melancholy, some nostalgia and things like that. It can be a very, it can be a time of melancholy. It could be a time of, uh, I don't know, just sort of, yeah, I'm really going to miss that, that sort of thing. It, it can be, you know. It's okay. Allow that to flow. It's fine. But don't let it hold you back. That's all. I don't think you'll be able to let it hold you back. I think the way the surrounding energies are, you'll just move forward. It'll feel rather natural. It just feels like the right thing to do, right? Let's go. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table is divine timing. Harvest time. The time is now. Seeds that were planted are now growing. Seven of Pentacles. Fueled by what? The tower. I've, just, I've spent... Why am I your second favorite? I have no idea. My God, I just spent the whole fucking reading so far talking about new era. You tearing, it's time to tear down the old. Forgive yourself for anything that held you back or who you were if you have to take it that far and move forward. All right? So if you were an axe murderer, forgive yourself. Move forward. Count your blessings that you never got caught and move forward, okay, into the new you. I, it's an extreme example, but you catch my drift, right? I mean, for some of you, you're obviously not an axe murderer. But for some of you, it's, it's changing your lifestyle, changing whatever. On the incoming energy here, somebody is making some big changes. I mean, we got liberation before the cut. The tower is huge, and it comes before a star, so we've got a star coming up here. Wow. All right, right here, energy around your connection, right here how the energy attached to you, whoever it is, all right, is behaving in the 3D, and it could be more than one person, I don't know. Their soul is here, hidden energy, message from the universe is here, read with the energy of your connection, right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. All of you, you... The DFs, the DMs, you all have the capability to fuck up a perfectly good opportunity-filled energy with free will decisions. All right? I can't predict it. More likely on the DM side, I will tell you. Uh, I will clarify everything. Throw some universe cards at the end, and you bet your sweet asses is going to be a link for and extended in the description. All right? Let's go. This is some pretty powerful stuff. I got seven pentacles, which is basically a minor arcana star with a fucking tower. <sighs> And a nine of pentacles and an ace of pentacles and temperance. Oh my. All right, right here, the energy around your connection. Three of wands. Wait for it. You, 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 you heard the inflection in my voice. Wait for it. Something's about to happen. Something here, right, your connection is about to get relit. All right, somebody, incoming energy that I'm pulling on is looking your way. All right. Probably because they liberated themselves. You're part of the new era for this person. Either you or what the connection made them feel. One or the other. How they're behaving in the 3D. Knight of Pentacles. Plans. It's a methodical energy. It's slow. It's, it's not stopped, though, in this case. They could be going faster. Every, every Knight of Pentacles has something that indicates they could be going faster. Right, the, the light seer, the guy walking, but he has a racehorse. This one here, for me, it'll vary for every reader. But this one here, for me, that's the Unical 76 ball. That's high performance gasoline. What the hell are you going slow for? You don't pay the extra money for Unical 76 and drive like grandma. What the hell? What's the point? You know, go get you some Costco gas or some shit. Okay, anyway, my, my point is here, somebody's making plans and moving forward with them. Slowly coming toward you. Coming toward you. He's heading this way. All right. Soul energy or what your connection showed them. If somebody leaving somebody, they may not come towards you. 
They may not, it might be a new soulmate who still doesn't tell you how they feel for a while. But they're doing it because of your connection. Your connection is what showed them the new horizon. Their soul is here. It bookends the uh, three of, of wands. Yeah, see? What was I talking about earlier? Rewind your fucking video. What did I say about determination, courage? All of that is in the energy. There's a lot of it. Yeah. The soul is awake and moving. And what did I just say? Rewind again, just a little bit. I said your connection. They're making plans based on the new horizons that your connection showed them. This is a Cancerian energy. This card, Major Arcana, represents this soulmate cycle for me. So it says exactly what I just said. All right. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. The cards are just reinforcement, making sure I got it right, and pretty pictures for you. you know. Hidden energy message from the universe. What's the fickle old gal want to tell us? And yeah, she fickle today. Holy crap. What's red with the three of wands? The two of pentacles. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody's making a decision here that's causing a major transformation. There's a major, it's a big butterfly. Butterflies are transformation. There's a major transformation coming in your connection very soon. Okay? Because somebody's making plans here. Somebody's also making decisions. Again, I said they're making plans and moving forward with them. Yeah, I get that. I get that decision is made. I'm drawn to the green light here. Mm. All right. Potential final outcome. Red with the uh, Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. Didn't this come up in the Mercury and Gemini final outcome? Correct me if I'm wrong or don't. I don't care. Uh, it looks familiar. It feels familiar. It is familiar. It's a Five of Wands. Okay? <sighs> this is your final outcome. I usually flip it back on you. And again, I get somebody coming towards you. And it creates some sort of Five of Wands situation for you. It poses a problem. Why? Well, think about it. All of this energy applies to you as well. You're forgiving yourself for the past, however you were, or things that held you back, and you're starting a new era too. This all applies to both sides, it's just in different ways, sometimes equal and opposite reaction. Perhaps it creates a small minor conflict that this person, whoever this is, has now decided to come towards you because your new era and their new era are a little different. Right? Now, maybe your new era is fuck you soulmate. I don't know. I mean, it's an extreme example. I doubt it. I always say leave the door open. You know, go about your life. Leave the door open. If they show up, hopefully they don't suck. If they suck, you kick them out and you close the door. Right? I don't know. But you got another five of wands in your final outcome. And I know I had that in a recent reading. Um, okay. Yeah, and randomly at the bottom of the witches, which I'm going to clarify with, is the four of cups. You're not sure, you know, again, this, this in, you may doubt it, but this energy coming towards you may not jive with your new era. Their new era and your new era might be different. Okay? It's, but the five of wands is a minor energy. It's not something that can't be worked out. Okay, you should be able to work it out with the Five of Wands here. This isn't anything major. All right, let's go. We'll find out more. Let's clarify. Let's just do it. Why is the Three of Wands here? Tell me. Let's talk to the witches. Three of Wands. Why is it here? Tell me about the Three of Wands. Hmm. New Horizons. The Flux Capacitor is lit. Very soon, all that energy is there. Somebody's making plans to come towards you for sure. Or toward the connection, what the connection showed them. A new era that is the energy of what this connection showed them. I get all that, but what else you want to tell me here? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, it's crossed by the Six of Pentacles. Somebody, somebody's deciding. I said it. I was drawn to the green light, didn't I? These two are red together. This guy's wearing a big green cloak or robe of some kind. Kind of tacky with the shirt open like that. But anyway, whatever. Right? Um... Very 1970s key party, the way this guy looks. Anyway, at the end of the day, somebody's deciding to give to this connection. And that's what these plans are about, I'm sure. Okay, uh, And they're liberating themselves from something. I, I have no doubt. But I also have no doubt that your new era differs from their new era. Your dreams going forward may be different from theirs. Okay, In a minor way. Well, what's on top? Uh, three of Cups. Yep, they're coming to open up to you. Uh, also, somebody is looking away from a third energy that's attached to them. I did say that earlier. Why is the, uh, That's not always three energies for me, but in this case it is. Why is the th Three of Cups here? The Eight of Pentacles. 
Somebody is ignoring a third energy that's attached to them and just coming your way. They won't talk to you. Now that can also tell me a little bit more about why this is here. You might not be okay with that. Well, you're still with so-and-so and you're coming to talk to me? That kind of, that's not part of my new era, right? I, it could be. I'm just reading energy. I'm just giving you some examples, something to work with. But yeah, somebody's ignoring a third energy and all that's shining through are the feelings for you, which is what this Knight of Pentacles is focused on here. All right. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay. All right. Let's find out. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Could be going faster. That's the main energy there. They're making plans. With dragging their feet a little bit on it. I can dig that. Because... And this can create a rush to energy because this is fast. The soul, I mean, they totally feel you. They totally know that, that this is where the feelings are, right? Home is where the heart is. It's over here. But they're dragging their feet a little bit. This can create some frustration here uh, for them. I believe it. Maybe for you. I don't know. We'll see. You might pick up on it. Depends how sensitive you are to these sorts of things. Uh, but I'd rather you took what I said at the beginning of this video to heart and didn't worry about you, you know, take care of yourself. This energy is a pretty reliable energy that it's showing us as close to a guarantee as I can give you <laughs> with that there. I mean, yeah, they can use free will decisions and fuck it up. Absolutely. But why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Yep, here he is. Mr. or Mrs. Fuck Up. It's the King of Wands. It's the Burger King. That's the environmental energy. That's who's making the plans. The problem with the Burger King, the King of Wands making plans, is they make plans that suit them, right? Burger King. Gotta have it their way. That's why I call it that. Well, yeah. Okay. And again, explains why you might be like, hold on there, motherfucker. Right? I don't know. We'll see. What's on top? It is not. It is interesting that you got this for your final outcome. I know it was like the Mercury and Gemini reading. It's funny that that came out again. What's on top? King of Pentacles. It just validates it, really, more than anything else. Um, so you could pair this reading with the Mercury and Gemini reading quite easily, I bet. Uh, king of Pentacles on top of it. Uh, this, this king orders this night. Somebody has, I don't want to say good intentions here, but they're coming with a very this is normally a balanced energy, a fair, balanced, benevolent king kind of thing. This guy, a little bit, got to have it their way. So somebody here is not considering the fact that maybe their way isn't your way, which again can create a conflict. Okay, why is the king of pentacles here? The world. Because somebody here is, again, going into, it's everything I already said. The, the world, the most powerful card I could pull, represents a new era. Does it not? Yes. Let's just look at it as its basic meaning. It represents a new era is beginning. Your final outcome, which is read with this, is the Five of Wands. Again, yeah, they're making plans their way, their era may not jive with you also making plans for a new era. Okay? So, again, I think it's minor, but the cards are backing it up. The energies are there. I've read the energy correctly. You know, the cards are just sort of checking it. Let's talk about the chariot here because it's your connection that's inspiring all of this, looking in new directions, ignoring a third energy that's attached to them, just, you know. And that explains a little bit of the King of Wands here. Somebody might still, they're freeing themselves from something. They might tell you that they're freeing themselves from something. Don't believe it until it happens. All right, the King of Wands will tell you what everything, make you believe anything is possible which is the, why they're the common energy for the DM side of this cycle. The King of Wands will tell you whatever they need to say to get your pants or your dress off. Uh, straight up. It's that, it's that type of energy. And they're good at it, too. Why is the chariot here? Tell me about the chariot. Why is it here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. There is an antsiness here. The, the soul's got something to say. The ego is slowing it down a little bit, but not stopping it because we're in mutable ego energy, as we talked about in the Mercury and Gemini reading. What's on top? Ace of Pentacles. Yep. In the soul, they know what they want. They're feeling, if they're feeling your connection, either you, your connection, or both. Okay? Yep. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody here, though, is still using their free will with that King of Wands crossing there because this energy flows from here to here to try to figure out a way to get what they want. 
to get things their way. I can. I think that conflicts with you on some level. We'll see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Nine of Cups. Yeah. It, it's, it can be a little bit of a selfish energy when I get the Nine of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. It can be. Again, it just backs up everything I said. But as far as your connection goes with the char chariot being here, Cancerian energy, we're in a Cancerian themed cycle. This card represents this cycle for me. Um, your connection is, is there... Is there Obi-Wan? Can we put it that way? Your connection is what they need, and the soul knows it. All right? Thank God we're in mutable ego energy, or I don't think anything would be happening. But, yeah, I get it. Uh, let's talk to the universe. It's red with the energy of your connection. It's a two of pentacles. I'm drawn to the green light, and I'm drawn to the butterfly. Big, big change. Somebody is making decisions that change their life on a big level. Just remember, you are too. And that's why we get that here, because that's your final outcome. All right. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Talking to the universe, the Ten of Wands. It's, it's been hard. It's a tough decision. It's a decision they feel that they can't put off any longer, whatever that decision is. Obviously, it's coming towards you, it's whatever. But with the Ten of Wands, Tens of the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning, it verifies that I'm drawn to the green light. This is something they feel in the environmental energy that they can't put off any longer for whatever reason. I think you may, I think a lot of you, if you're making big changes, forgiving yourself for who you were or what you allowed to hold you back and moving forward into a new era, which is what this new moon energy is all about, for real, at, at its core. Um, I think sometimes here you get backed against the wall. You know, you could take something simple if it's time to quit drinking or time to quit smoking. You get signs. You get signs from the universe. Shit starts hurting. Shit starts aching. Shit starts not working right. At the end of the day, somebody here using, just using that as an example, but at the end of the day, somebody here is getting signs and signals around them that they don't have any choice here. I've got to make this decision. I've got to go forward towards this. For a lot of you, it's just what your connection makes them feel. Somebody's changing their life on that. But for, but for some of you, this results in direct communication. I'm absolutely certain of that. All right. What's on top? Eight of Swords. Yeah. Um, again, it's backing up what I said. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is all this here with the environmental energy of what I said about the Ten of Wands? Somebody feels trapped by this decision. They don't feel like they, they can't, they got nowhere to go. There's only one way to go. That's it. The only, yep, that's it. The only way is Essex. That's it. Right there. I got the theme ringing in my head. Uh, anyway, why is the uh, Eight of Swords here? Maybe your person lives in Essex. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but anyway, they feel trapped by this decision. Yeah, it's what I said. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't have a choice. Yeah. It's better to do major decisions and era changes when we get to decide rather than somebody else telling us that we have to, right? It's always better. Mm -hmm. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Five of Wands. And that segues us right into the Five of Wands. Somebody here... Mm, it's... Again, it's a, in their head. It's, it's, a, it's saying the same thing. They're too much in their head here. Which is probably why they revert back to King of Wands energy of having to have it their way, the Burger King. Let's find out, because the Five of Wands came out again, let's find out what it means for you. Okay, so this is your final outcome. For you, somebody shows up, and it's a bit of a five, because they feel like they have to. I get that. And the soul's really on board, but they're just trying to figure out a way to start this new era. I mean, somebody might have, I can even take this energy with the King of Wands cross and somebody assumes that you're just interested still. You're just going to be there, you know, whatever. It, I don't know. Somebody making too many assumptions. I don't know. Maybe. Why is the Five of Wands here? What's the final final on this from my viewers? Hmm? What is it? So if you start watching a bunch of readings out there for this new moon and everybody just talking about dreaming and manifesting, they're missing the point. All right? Yeah, that's there, but that's every fucking new moon. That's there. Yeah. But that's not. No, this is the forgiveness moon. It's about forgiving yourself for the past, for what held you back, or who you were, if it's pretty major, and moving and just stepping across the line and moving into a new era with confidence. Going after your new Nine of Cups, your new Ace of Pentacles. That's what this moon is about, especially with the surrounding energies. Right? And they're all very mutable energies. 
right? Especially Jupiter and Gemini, anything that's in Gemini, very mutable. It allows you to change direction effortlessly. I mean, you've got so much energy on your side right now for it. It's unreal. So do they. But selfish is as selfish does. Like I said at the beginning, I don't think the DM side is going to utilize this energy in the same magical way that the DF side will. I just don't, except for the few enlightened DMs that watch me. What's the final final on this universe? I'm running out of shit to say here. I can't keep shuffling all goddamn day or I'm going to have to edit. <laughs> edit out 20 minutes of shuffling. Yep. Five of Wands was the last card out here. It segued into here. Your Five of Wands. Your Five of Their Five of Wands was technically crossed by Ten Wands. So is yours. Okay? They feel like they have to do it. I can't, can't put it off any longer. Trapped by the decision. It might make them a little combative, maybe. A little defensive. A little, you know, snappish. Right? And for you, them showing up creates this five of wands. It creates this. It puts you in your head a little bit. It creates a lot of pressure for you. Okay? Because I think a lot of you, as if you utilize this energy properly, are moving into a new era. And we don't always match. It's the number one reason couples that get married too early break up. Right? You get married right out of high school. By the time you're 30, you've both gone through so many life changes. Your brain has even changed. Your frontal lobe finished developing and all of that. If you didn't move, hopefully you moved in the same direction and can stay together. But what often happens is a separation. Things move in a different direction. It's time to break up. It's time to go. It didn't last a lifetime. Oh well. Right? Well, you probably didn't know that because your frontal lobe wasn't developed yet. That's why you can't rent a car in the United States until after the age of 25 because they because you're a fucking insurance risk. At the end of the day here, this creates an issue for you. It's a clash of eras because I've got a matching card. Ten wands for you, ten wands for them. All right, all right. What's on top? Seven of Pentacles. This is red with the king of pentacles here in the final outcome up here in them, with them. All right. This is going to give you something to think about. And this is the universe's advice to you. Look at that guy. He's doing some serious thinking. It's my break time energy of the seven of pentacles. All right. You need to stop this. This guy, this coming with an incredible, what they see for the, something that benefits them big time with the king of pentacles. You need to think about this. And, and don't go crazy thinking about it and start thinking that you're trapped or anything like that. You're not. Try to think about it in a relaxed state. Like this guy right there. Right? What's going on? Why is the Seven Pentacles here? The Emperor. Yeah. The Emperor is red with the world. Somebody here. Again, getting up off the throne and coming towards you. What you do with it, you decide. But it's a new era in the connection. It's a new era for you. That, that can start. It's a new era for them that can start. And it's a new era for your connection as well. Okay? This is a divine masculine energy coming in. You might need uh, as well to kick up, to tap into your own inner masculine energy as well. Alright? Don't feel like you have to say yes here. Don't feel like you have to say no. This guy doesn't... Just give it some thought. Okay? See if it's for you. See if it lines up with your new era. If it does... We can have a connection here. We can, you can have this emperor in this new era. It's what the world is saying. You can have what you want. You really can. Sure, yeah, there's some manifesting in dreams with this new moon. It's powerful manifesting energy. It's not the point of it, but it's there and it's very powerful. But if you don't want it, you don't want it. And that's what the Five of Wands is talking about. Don't worry about petty shit. Be creatively selfish, right? It act from a point of enlightened self-interest where you do things for you but you don't necessarily hurt others by being selfish. This energy is being selfish, selfish. It's very out of balance and one-sided. All right, That's all I can say. It looks like this emperor is coming towards you. Your end result is the emperor showing up with you going, hmm, well how about that? Right. Okay. Fine. Okay. Um, pulling the next card out. It's a very, I'll pull a couple more. It's, I'll just take them, take them off the top. The Hierophant attached to this Emperor. Expanding on the Emperor, the Hierophant. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yep. It's an offer they think you can't refuse because it's such a powerful connection for the ones that show up towards you. It's an offer that they think you can't refuse. I'm telling you, 
you can if you want to. All right, make sure it jives with your new era before you say yes. For those of you where they don't show up and they're just using your connection as a template for, the, for their new era and the future, still for them, they feel like they can't fail. The, 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 in that case, the universe would urge them to stop and pause for a minute. In fact, it kind of is here. Otherwise, you know, you might want to pause for a moment. Otherwise, things can get out of hand pretty quickly. All right, that kind of thing. I've given you all the ways the energy can be interpreted for a general audience. All right, take it as it resonates, like the kids on YouTube like to say. Okay, let's go. Let's shuffle the deck. Anything else you want to tell my viewers? <laughs> These are some powerful cards. Your final outcome is the Emperor, the Hierophant, and the Wheel of Fucking Fortune. Okay, talk about new eras. This is a tan. Tans are the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning. It's major arcana. You know. And it's all red. All of this power, major, 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 is red with the most powerful card in the deck, the world. Okay? So you can see why I did a special intro on this fucking video. I mean, that temperance card that was randomly at the bottom of the deck was all I needed. And that's it. All right. Three cards and a crossing card. What else you want to tell my viewers before I go pull some wicked voodoo here? I got to pull on the King of Wands and see what's going on. I got to pull on you. I got to go deeper into you, see what your era is. I might do a you versus them, okay, in, on the era front in the extended. That might be interesting, okay, and we'll, we'll, we'll do that as well. Uh, and I'll pull a pyramid and supercharge this reading a little bit for less people. We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it might go. How about that? Uh, we'll see. All right, let's go. But definitely, please. Pay attention to what I said at the beginning of this video. It's the forgiveness moon, and don't let anybody tell you differently. It really is. That's what this and forgiveness is always for you. Okay? You forgive yourself. Even if it's a small thing. Yeah. Again, with Jupiter and Gemini, if you give just a little bit to Jupiter, it'll it'll give you back a dump truck full. I'll tell you what. Alright. Four Pentacles. King of Cups. Three of Pentacles and the Tower came back. The Tower is in the base energy. The, the message for you before we go, the Tower is crossing the King of Cups and the base energy. It's going to blow your fucking mind. Okay? I will tell you, you've got a divine masculine, some of you, that wants to come in and tell you how they feel. I believe they do, but I believe that they also play it cautious. And this came up in a recent reading. I believe they hold back some things so they get what they want. It's sort of like a salesman that lies to you and only tells you about the good things because they want to get the sale, right? They should be telling you, oh, I should mention this and I should mention this, right? But they don't mention that, right? I should mention that on this model, the wheels sometimes fly off above 40 miles an hour. They don't mention that. They just say, oh, it's a great car. It's terrific. Not telling you that below, it's only below 40 miles an hour that it's a great car, right? God forbid you get on a freeway. Uh, but at the end of the day here, somebody is holding back because they definitely see you in their future. Okay? Um, also, if they're not coming towards you, and this is someone who's just using the energy of your connection as a, a template for their new era and their future, um, it's somebody who's glazing over some things. Okay? Somebody who's maybe held on to it so long that dust has gathered on it and they've forgotten a few aspects. Um, they are starting a new beginning, but they're going to need to get that energy will need to get real with itself a little bit Otherwise this tower may get away from them on it Okay, the changes come fast and the tower tells us that coming back twice You want to be in control of that and the way you're in control of that since they're not here I'll just show you is this guy right here embody that guy, right? He got nowhere to be. I'm fine. I'm good. Take all the smoke break. I want motherfucker. It's my field all right like that all right that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope you get the most out of this new moon. I truly do. It's way more than just manifesting. Way fucking bigger than that. Way fucking bigger than dreaming up your manifestations for the next six months and all that hocus pocus. No. It's much, much bigger energy than that because of the other surrounding energies. All right? All right. And that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you want the extended, the link is in the description. I want it. I can't wait to pull it. I uh, hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.